Yes, yes, I yes, yes, yes. What? You know, when? During the Mobile restaurant. The longer we get the Mobile, we get the Southern for the entrance fee. Okay. 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 Okay, we are at Eden uh, Hotel Resort. So here it's also it's a nature resort. Okay. So to just come in, we pay three thousand kwacha. So that's what uh, the guard that was telling us now. It's a nature resort, so they're trying to take care of all the plants and trees. I saw somewhere it was written that they want to bring even some wild animals over here also. So as you can see, this is a nice little drive, driveway that they have here. The people stay also here, they can uh, lodge here. Uh, there's a few apartments that people live in also. Eden Estates in Lilongwe is located on the outskirts of Lilongwe City, Malawi. The estate offers an ecotourism environment, botanical gardens, a pool, leisurely pathways and a restaurant. Eden Estates has high ceiling continental rooms, two bedroom homes and studio loft apartments. Eden Estates and Resort has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on TripAdvisor. We've got still a lot of land going that side, <clears throat> and I think they, that's why they're saying that they're selling the plots. Uh, let's see what that information board is saying. Uh, there's, they've built a dam there. Beautiful. some plots that you can buy so uh, you can see there's an opportunity for you to come here and even buy some plots yeah, as you can see here that's the map uh, beach resort proposed restaurant That one that is over there. So 
<coughs> this is where we are, the uh, proposed car park. So they will have food parks, there's going to be another, there's another dam on the over the side. Then there will be a lot of apartments going on this side of the road. That's where you're going to see some apartments there. Okay. There's now game of animals, so there will be some animals here. Wow, this is this is something else. Okay. Eden Estate. Beautiful. Day visitor is parking. Please continue around the parking and exit way. One way. Your estate and swimming fees here. If you are already booked, present your receipt. What is that? So it's per per vehicle, you said? Yes. If it's a small vehicle, they pay 3000 and if it's a big vehicle, they pay 9000 And it doesn't matter how many you are in the car, it's the still the same. Okay. All right. I'm going Thank you very much, sir. You're yeah. I'm going to... So there is a prayer request box. I'm sure you put some money, yeah. uh, request for a prayer, so they will pray for you. That's what I'm, I'm assuming. Or maybe you put your prayer, write it down and put it in there. Okay. I don't know. Wow, this is beautiful, eh? Huh? What's wrong with my gimbal? Uh, I don't know what is, what is happening here. This barbecue grill. You see the guys are busy eating. So this is the restaurant. Oasis Cafe. Wow. Last time I was here, it was not like this. It's improved. Yeah. Hey. It was not like this at all. This thing, I need to put it off. What thing? I don't know. 
this is let's see what's going on here. So you can also come to swim here if you want to. I would like to know the names of these trees. Which trees? These but these these are indigenous trees. Oh. Yeah. So when when they bought this place. They probably never disturbed any, any of the trees. These are indigenous of Malawi trees. These are not trees that they like they planted. Oh. These are indigenous. I like them mm. because they, the stem is so small but they give <coughs> such a lot of shade. Yeah, they are indigenous. Like for us uh, at home while we are, it yeah. can be very nice. We want to so this is the forest. swimming area. Wow, this place has been... Yo, 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 yo. This is beautiful. There was nothing like this. There was nothing. There was a small pool somewhere there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is very, very, very nice. For the kids so if you come with your kids they have got a place to enjoy themselves to relax and then they will be playing on this jungle gym mm. wow there's a lot of things for the kids to play with here so don't let your kids get bored at home Bring them over here at Eden Gardens. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good and this first. Hello. Wow. This indeed is a Eden a garden. Huh? It's indeed a garden of Eden. I'm sure there's some fish in here. So you've got areas where you can sit down and your children while they're playing and you can cry. Huh? Hello. <laughs> I'm sitting in the Garden of Eden. What are you doing in the Garden of Eden? I'm This is deep down in Nililongwe, Malawi, a place where you can forget about all your problems. Yeah? We, we can see that uh, 
this is in when you're going to this is air wing not area oh in yeah. so somewhere around air wing we have a place called eden gardens where you can come and then forget about all your problems you can hide with your children and you can enjoy in the gardens do all the activities you want they've got a swimming pool for the kids to swim a jungle gym to play around you can have come sit down around here and you can pry and enjoy yourselves for only three thousand kwacha per car per vehicle and if you are, want to come in a minibus you pay nine thousand and you can be full in there yeah this is good Nice, 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 nice. And with the nature, you know, the trees and everything, it just it's makes you feel, cool. yeah, you just forget about everything and you just uh, relax. Huh? Bamboos. I just can't get enough of this place. <laughs> Look at this. I just can't get enough of this place. Huh? So you can also buy some. Meat. Yeah. Are you selling these? Yes. Kambuz. Kambuz. All right. How much? So this one is two five. This one is three thousand. Six five. Six five. Is it made here? Yeah. Oh. Do you make it yourself? <laughs> you want one? Which one is the best? I said this one is the best. What is like a place for, for for prayers? Maybe it says Shalom Adonai. Maybe yeah. the Jewish.
this is amazing. Yeah. This is a natural resort. So Eden Gardens is a nature resort, meaning that they are actually looking after the nature, more especially when it comes to vegetation, like the trees. What they've done is they've left the indigenous trees to grow here. Uh, they didn't disturb any of those trees. So whatever trees we're seeing here are trees that originates from this, uh, from this area. Yeah, and then there's also some lady selling um, tabola, spices, hot spices that you can buy for yourself as a, or as a souvenir. What is that? Uh, the spice. Oh. Tabola, kambuzi. Um, you can buy it for yourself or as a souvenir. And also there's somebody selling like African print clothes that you can also buy for yourself or as a souvenir. Okay. I think this is like when you, uh, you you have a function, you can come and do your function here. So this could be, it will be suitable <coughs> for a wedding. Actually. Your entrance. Yeah. yeah. So you go through here to have your function. Yeah. Where the rich hide with their families over the weekend. Huh? My fellow friends in Lirongwe, most of us didn't know that there's places like this where people are just hiding and enjoying themselves with their children. They don't share it on Facebook for us to see so that we can also come. Everybody comes here, enjoy, and they hide it. They hide it from us. But thank God there's somebody like Ted. I reveal all these hidden places to you so that you can be able to see so one day you can also come with your family. Maybe you can always spend your weekends here. Yeah. This used to be a dam. This is the dam that I used to remember that I know that last time. Like, that was the only thing that you saw. Yeah. That was the only dam that no I had. Pool, All these things nothing. was not there. There was nothing here. How and that, years ago? I don't know. Can you? Four years ago. Something like four years ago, yeah. So I think this dam sometimes gets very full. Hmm? This is this was the original Eden Gardens dam, you know, before this whole thing was developed. Yeah, now this place has been developed. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so where, where, is the, where can we sit? Can we sit there by the pool on that little, small little thing? This was this was the original one. There used to be a, a bar somewhere around there, and then you you could sit here and admire this place. So there is also apartments where we're going now. Hmm? You see, this, there's, there's a little swimming pool there. So we won't be able to give you a a restaurant experience here because we just had a meal at the other place. So these, are, these are the apartments that you find here. So when you book, you can sit here, relax and enjoy yourselves. Very, very beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's all I can say. Eden Gardens in the heart of Lilongwe. So there's so much for you to do in Lilongwe. I've been sharing with you. Uh, as we conclude our travels around Lilongwe, as you can see, we are now concluding with a bang. Yeah, and this the, is really a bang. This is a very beautiful place. We visited Ufulu Gardens. Now we are at Eden, Eden Gardens. It, it's all uh, places that gives you the same thing, tranquility. Yeah. yeah. Peace of mind. Yeah. yeah. If that is what you want over your weekend, please call us. That is what you do. Yeah.
And so this is the bar. So we can sit inside here. The coffee. <coughs> hmm? Yeah, bond. I don't know. You can Why sit. sit hey, maybe inside. No. You can sit inside. We can sit here for coffee. Okay, thank you. So we are at Eden Gardens. So what do you say? It's a very, very beautiful, stunning mm. place. Oh, I, I don't even have words. Mm. What is this? It's very, very beautiful. Yeah. And it's a family place. You can come here with your family. You can come here in a group. Um, and it's not even that expensive yeah. just to have your peace of mind mm. over a weekend. Comparing with Ufuru, yeah. this is uh, very affordable. For how many coffee? For two. Okay. Yeah. For four with milk. With milk. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just ordering coffee. Yeah. And they uh, made it so nice, you can sit here and you'll be able to see what's going on outside there. Beautiful. A certain engineer in South Africa, his name was Klaus, and they had you know, teaspoons, you know, like this one is it's too big, they'll be like very really tiny. And he says, No, one is enough, Ted. <laughs> when, you know drink, Ted is drinking when, when you drink coffee, <laughs> don't put too much sugar because you want to feel the coffee. Mm. Yeah, you want to feel the coffee. And me, I want more. Mm. You want sugar, you want to taste the I want sweet. to taste the sweetness. To each their own. He says when you when you put too much sugar, you will be testing the sugar, not the coffee. the coffee. So that's okay for you. You still yeah, need sugar. No, it's it's fine. This sugar is sweet. You know, normally our sugar that we use, you have to do more than more of those. 
Right, we are at Eden Garden. Very beautiful place. What do you yeah. think? Very nice. <clears throat> so we are we are having some coffee here. Yeah. Just want to drink coffee. So yeah. What do you think? Are you enjoying the holiday so far? Enjoying the holiday. I'm looking forward to every weekend's holiday. It's very nice. It's a change for me. You know, we're always just at home there in Area 25. <laughs> but now, at least weekends, we have something to look forward to. Yeah, in fact, like for me, I was saying the other day, if YouTube is a job, that's the job I want to do, you know, <laughs> because for me it's like, it's holiday. If, if this is supposed to be my job, traveling around, around areas, you know, looking at beautiful places, enjoying, taking video and sharing, and that becomes my career, yeah. I would rather do this, you know, other, other than what I do now. I enjoy what I'm doing, but uh, mm, the, the stress Sometimes that comes with it. Mm. I, I can take the stress that comes with YouTube because when I make a mistake, I know I am the one who made the mistake. Mm. You are in control. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it's not nice to always take responsibility for other people's carelessness. Yeah. You, know? you always face the customers mm. telling you that you're not serious, yeah. but you will try your best to give them the best yeah. of the best. But, yeah. but anyway. Yeah, really, me as a bush engineer, if there's something that I don't like, in what I do is uh, the fact that I come up with systems, I teach everybody what to do, I want to have quality products, I want to give quality service, but at the end of the day, I still give poor service, I still give poor products. And then the customer comes to me and complains to me and says, Ted, you're not serious. It seems like you're making so much money, you don't care anymore. But in fact, me, every day, I know I want to be the best, I want to be the best. But now to work with people, the, the people don't care, you know. They don't share the values you share. They don't share the same values that I share. But in, in the meantime, the customers, they know that these are the values that Ted is marketing to us. Yeah. But now he's not bringing what we, what he's promising. But you try your best to teach the people the right way of doing things. It's just the same as like here, we come here, we drink, a, we order a cup of coffee. It takes, it took us about 30 minutes to get our coffee. Yeah. But the owner of this place, he wants the, the service to be prompt. Mm. Uh, but now, when we leave, we would want to blame the owner and say, but that place, yeah. that, that's, this is the, 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 the service is poor, the, the coffee took long. But the, the guys were trained to bring the, the yeah. coffee time. Do you understand what I mean? At the casino, I remember, at the casino, we used to rush. We used to stand whenever, whenever a customer just comes sit at the MVG lounge. Remember MVG lounge? Yeah. You just sit there, we run. What is MVG? Most valued guest. Yeah, most valued guest lounge. Yeah, at the, at Grand West Casino, the waiters there, they, the customer just sit, and then they are there at the table, mm. and there's chaos there in the kitchen to bring the food out or whatever they order out in a certain time. Yeah, but then when you come this side of the world. Everything is relaxed. Everything is re relaxed. People do things at their own pace. And when you complain, the people say, uh, no, you're complaining too much. And all that stuff. Because people are used to doing things at their own pace. But they don't realize that business nowadays is fast. So now, people who are coming to visit us are traveling from different countries. And they are re receiving those prompt response services. When they come here and we slug behind, then they say, but I'm Malawi, mm. yes, the people are slow, the people, they say, they're not good with the service. They won't understand it. They, the way they won't we understand, understand that we, we, for us, we think that's the way of life, you know? Yeah, we understand mm. and we accept, but mm. um, for other people, they yeah. might not understand it the way we understand it. Yeah, you see what I mean? So, all the time, we have, we have to be aware that uh, we are not the only ones on this universe. There's also people coming from different countries and yeah. different areas. And the people, they will always weigh against us, against other people. In, in Malawi, we have this kind of saying, we say, but don't, you can't compare us with others. Mm -hmm. But people are always comparing. And people are saying, I saw Aymara was uh, comparing the countries that he's visited. He said, one of the best countries he has ever visited so far now is Botswana. Mm -hmm. So he is comparing Botswana with other countries that he's visited. After, 
Abdi has been at Malawi? He's been here in Malawi, Zambia, he's been okay. in Zimbabwe, he's been in uh, Botswana, Namibia. No, he said his best, one of his, the favorite countries so far for him is Namibia. Mm. Yeah. And uh, he, he actually explained that Namibia is able to give that kind of impression of being very clean and the people very, being very nice because it's a very uh, small population. There's about two, two point something million people in the country. Namibia is a place where you you, you move you can move in town and see nobody. Wow. You, you see no people in the streets. It's like it's a d deserted uh, country, but the, because the population is very little. Wow, mm -hmm. very little. Yeah. Two point something million is very little. Yeah. I would love to see Namibia. You would love oh. to stay there? No, not to stay, just to, to see. It. Okay. One of these but days we will be visiting there. Yeah, those people. What do they call them? The the, the ones Himba. The, the Himba people. The women who grow their hair. The Himba people. I would love to see them. Mm. And in Kenya, I would like to see the people. The Maasai people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so far, so good. We are still enjoying our yeah. holiday. I, I just hope that this is the beginning of the holiday that will be an endless holiday. Like yeah. We turn this into a career, travel all over the places, visit countries we were from Malawi we visit the countries that surrounds Malawi then we visit the, re the rest of Africa maybe one day we fix our patrol we can drive it across Africa and we'll go to Europe with it yeah would you be prepared to drive around drive? Mm? <laughs> yeah yeah me I would like to drive I want to see if I can be able to one day drive that vehicle to, to Nigeria even Nigeria yeah West Africa mm -hmm. yeah it would be nice yeah it would be an experience we should enjoy also we've worked hard yeah yeah we have been working almost every day mm -hmm. all right so if it's your first time this is block 929 uh, on this channel we want to be sharing with you our experiences that we are having on our premises but also our experiences that we're having as we travel at this moment we want to travel all the 28 districts in malawi so we have just started with a little long way so this is actually the conclusion of our trips if you haven't seen where we've traveled or so far already please check on the other videos maybe you can actually check here at the at the bottom here 